Hey yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video and as you guys saw from the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be talking about limited this week in season 6 to work and get your rank. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys smash the like button down below working towards Galaxy Opal Richard Lewis who is uh, looking to be a uh, an interesting card. Richard Lewis last year was a pretty um, comp card. We don't know what he's actually looking like. I expect that all of his animations, things like that, will be completely changed once we see him. Um, and he may even get that uh, Dark Matter upgrade. Who knows? But either way, he's going to be a fun at 6'10", power forward, small forward. And either way, if you don't want him eventually, you can just not get that uh, you know, 6th rank. But you can see I have my one ring already right here. And this is the requirements for this week in Limited. You may use up to one Dark Matter card. So obviously, if you have a Dark Matter or even an Opal that you really, really like... I'd use them. It always works. And then you must use two bronze, two silver, two gold, two emerald, two sapphire, and two ruby player cards. It's as simple as that. But the big question is what do we use? I've gone ahead and I've listed out four emeralds that I think are the best that you guys should be using. Um, I have five sapphires that I really recommend to a lot of you guys. And I have a bunch of rubies that you guys can be using um, on yours. So my limited lineup looked a little bit like this. Um, during the video that I did with Rudy LaRusso. Check that out if you guys haven't, link in the description. But most of the time, I actually was probably running a team like this. We have a Ruby power forward in right there with Thaddeus Young, and then boom. So we have David Robinson in there at the center because he's just an absolute demon, and you will be running into a lot of David Robinsons if you haven't already. So be prepared for that. Um, and I had, you know, Killian Hayes in here at the PG because I love his jumper. I just think it's super smooth. He's super nice. Um, Diallo is just a really good all-around card. He's one of the Sapphires I'm going to recommend as well as that. Um, but it's pretty cool. So what I recommend you guys do is on your bench, you're never going to sub these guys in. Like, just don't do it. Um, what I did is I went into our bronzes and I scrolled all the way over to all the guys that I had and picked the two worst bronzes. Um, same thing with the silvers, went to silver, scrolled all the way over and picked the two worst silvers that I had on my lineup. I have a bunch of 70s, so you know, we just had two 70s. When it came to golds, switch to gold, scroll all the way over and pick your two golds, and you can kind of get the theme here. Emeralds, go to emerald and scroll all the way over, and then boom, you can find the bummies. <laughs> so there you go, and you can throw them in the lineup. And all this is going to do is just make it so they're just slightly worse than guys you could have. Um, for the most part, you're probably not going to get cheesy with a lot of these emeralds like you can. Again, I have some emeralds that I'm going to recommend. Um, if you want them in the lineup and you want to run a full man rotation, like, go ahead, be my guest. Um, I just don't think most people are going to do it, so it's just not worth your time. But anyway, and for the starters, I have my two rubies in there, my two sapphires, and my one opal, which is David Robinson, who's like low-key a dark matter. So the one card that you have, you're going to want to make sure you go ahead and pick who that's going to be. If you have, you know, Dark Matter KG, Zion Williamson, Michael Jordan, anything like that, the new Giannis with uh, Phil Jackson as your coach, boom, throw him in there, whoever that is. And I'm going to give you guys suggestions of who you guys can throw around that because obviously it's going to be a little bit different for everybody else. So I have some all-around suggestions. So when it comes to our emeralds, I only have four cards that I really like. Uh, it's going to be a little bit repetitive for some of you guys. Jeff Green, his emerald. I love him. He's six foot eight. I talk about him all the time. He's a great dunker. He's a great shooter. Good playmaker. Good defender for an emerald. Really good speed. And he's got some nice little gold and silver badges, as well as a lot of bronze to help him out. You guys know it. I talk about Jeff Green all the time. I don't really need to be the dead horse anymore. He's just a great card. Uh, the next emerald that I love to use is Daquan Cook. If you didn't play last season, you're not going to have this card. But if you did, a six foot five guy who has jump shot 4 for his base, a 95 shot 3, can dunk a little bit, can speed boost a little bit, and can play the defense with gold catch and shoot, corner specialist, clamps, circus 3s, and deep 3s. That's all I need, my man. That's all I need. Daquan Cook um, is just that guy to bring into the game because he can just 3 and D it um, as much as you want, as good as an emerald can, um, and still play some nice uh, minutes for you if you want to give some guys a break. For our next Emerald, we have a Jared Jeffries because my man's is just a, a demon on the defense. Um, I prefer him as a power forward, not really a small forward. I think he's a little too slow for a small forward, but either way, I digress. He's a decent shooter with the Kobe Bryant base, 74 shot three with a coach boost. You can make it work if you have Phil Jackson. That's an 84, kind of unreal, which is pretty cool. You could also throw, you know, maybe a uh, a gold shoe on here. That way, he has a bit of a higher three. If you really wanted to try hard and limited, you could do it. Uh, but 
The thing that I love about Jared Jeffries and why a lot of people you'll see use him in a limited is 84 block, 85 perimeter, or 85 steel, 82 perimeter, 82 interior with some good defensive badges that all just revolve around defense with bronze catch and shoot um, helping a little bit, which is pretty nice. And the last one that I recommend that I don't see a lot of people actually using is Patrick Williams. I like Patrick Williams jumper. I used his sapphire for ages when we got this draft set, especially in limited. I think at six foot eight, um, with the jumper that I've got used to, that 75 shot three is awesome. A good 80 perimeter defense, and he's really quick as well. And has, you know, corner specialists on silver, pick dodger, clamps, intimidator, all that sort of stuff on silver, hot zone hunter, and blinders as well. Um, so I really like him. For next gen, he is a great card to run in limited that not a lot of people actually give a shot. Because uh, he can also drive to the basket pretty well. But on current gen, I can see why you want to avoid him. But those are the four emeralds that I really recommend. And I think a lot of you guys should at least try out because um, they're super fun. For our sapphires, we have obviously starting it off um, Diallo just because he's a 6'5 guy, 90 offense, 92 defense, and he's an 86 overall. Obviously, he should be a 91. He should be an amethyst. Um, when you check out Diallo, he has a great 80 shot three with a pretty nice release, which always is going to be good. The dunking is obviously insane on Diallo. A lot of people expect you to just be slashing with him all the time. So sometimes taking those threes can actually be a bit of a surprise. We also have some good ball handling, and look at the defense. 96 steel, 85 block, and an 80 perimeter. Um, interior is terrible, but you know, not every bum can be good. <laughs> um, we also have some good speeds as well, and we have a lot of good gold badges, which uh, on a sapphire card is amazing. Pick dodger, clamps, intimidator, post riser, rebound chaser, giant slayer, silly finisher, downhill, quick first step, like just great, great, great badges. Uh, mainly meant to be a defender and a slasher, but can still space the floor a little bit. And hit some threes, especially if you have a good coach. I have Frank Vogel on, so he gets like an 83 shot three um, with some sort of floor general. He has like an 86. Really, really solid. Steve Novak is a card that you actually get right now. I don't have a backup center, so I can't show you. All right, there we go. Uh, Steve Novak is a card that you actually get at level 7 in this season's XP right here. You guys can see it. So most of you guys should very, 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 very... Actually, you know what? Not most. All of you guys should very easily be able to get Steve Novak. And this is the reason you're going to want Steve Novak. He's a 6'10", power forward, small forward, with a 96 shot three. Like, that's it. That's all you need. 96 shot three. Also an 80 uh, driving dunk. He can speed boost as well. 84 perimeter defense is nice. 80s in the speed. And let me tell you, um, as somebody who grew up in New York, Steve Novak did not play defense good enough to get an 84 perimeter defense. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> but with his badges, has won all the fame and blinders. I know that's going to be steady, but I promise you, on, even on current gen, he is one of the best, if not the best, Sapphire uh, to go ahead and use. 34 gold badges, catch and shoot, corner, difficult shots, pick dodger, clamps, intimidator, and interceptor. Um, he also has circus threes and deep threes, which is awesome. Downhill, set shooter, sniper, stop and pop, green machine, hot zone, 100. Like, yeah, he's going to be great. Uh, it sadly doesn't have deep threes, but Steve Novak is still an absolute demon. If you're in need of, like, just... A Sapphire that can come in and just hit some threes for you. Steve Novak is going to be it. Um, sadly, he has jump shot 10, but it's on very quick, so it doesn't actually feel too bad. And it's actually pretty smooth, um, so I like it. Uh, the next Sapphire that I would love to recommend to a lot of you guys is Matt Barnes. I just like him because he's a beautiful 3 and D, like small forward um, that I love to run in there. 89 shot 3, um, okay dunking, but 85 perimeter defense. Some good speed, but it's all about the badges, which are just, yeah, you can see it. Like, come on. Pick Dodger, Clamps, Catch and Shoot, like all that wonderful stuff. Bl blinders and House of Hunter and even. I love Matt Barnes. I just think he's a great all-around card to have. Uh, when it comes to another Sapphire, this one is a PG that almost, actually, you know, a lot of you guys um, probably aren't going to have. And it's Derek Harper. Um, he is one that I run all the time in Limited because of his nice 80 shot three. I love his jumper. He can play make and he's got an 88 perimeter and 88 interior defense. Really good speed. Um, and... You can see it of his gold badges, Clamps, Interceptor, Intimidator, Tireless Defender even, and Floor General, also Silver Pick Dodger. Yeah, you love Derek Harper. Uh, now, the reason a lot of you guys can't get him is he was a card that you got for Triple Threat Offline wins back in like Season 1, maybe. So you had to be playing from like the very start of 2K and been on that curry grind to get Derek Harper. But if you have him, run him. <laughs> he is um, really, really solid. And the last card, I'm not sure if I have him. I'll check really quick. So I may have to go in and show you guys other 
Yeah, I don't have him right now. But it is Ronnie Brewer at his Sapphire. Um, and the reason is Ronnie Brewer is a six foot seven shooting guard small forward who has an 82 shot three, an 85 dropping dunk, can speed boost, has good defense, good speed, the Rudy Gay jump shot base, and the Curry slide, all of which obviously are solid. And you can see Clams pick dodger all right there. Interceptor has pro touch, you know, so they finish a downhill and quick first step in Hotson Hunter, which is awesome. Just a nice little three and D, but also can slash to the basket kind of sapphire that is really solid and really nice. And once you're done, you can Evo him up to his Amethyst and sell it for some profit, which is uh, always a W. I think his Amethyst goes for like 10K maybe. Yeah, a little bit less, like 8 to 9. You can pick the Sapphire for like 2K. So a nice little profit, like 7K flip if you wanted to. And now here comes the long part of the video where I, I feel like I probably should just show you guys the cards um, quickly instead of getting um, really long into it. So the first one that I know a lot of you guys need to run and probably know about, Thaddeus Young. He is a jump shot 98 or Dwayne Wade based jumper card with the quick release timing, which already is amazing, but it's also six foot eight, has a great midi and three point shot. So he's gonna be doing crazy things out there. Can dunk in everybody's head like straight booms. And we have a nice uh, ball handle, all around good defense and really nice speed. Everybody's running Thaddeus Young. So you'll kind of realize that you need to run him. Um, this card is just insane. Great badges all around, has deep threes, has base 98. Like, yeah, Thaddeus Young is gonna be a demon. Um, he's gonna be a guy that you are gonna wanna run. Another card that you can definitely run at Ruby is for the center position, Mo Bamba. Um, if you don't or aren't using um, your Galaxy Opal or Dark Matter as a center, which I kind of recommend, you can go ahead and use Mo Bamba, who is a nice little seven foot guy um, who's an absolute demon. He's got some good dunking, he's got a good shot three, and he's got some really good defense, especially interior and good rebounding. The only thing I don't love about him is his low strength. His badges are good too, but the low strength can kind of hurt him. But the great thing here is he has a duo with another really good Ruby that I recommend to a lot of you guys in Jonathan Isaac. And it makes both of these guys a Amethyst. So Jonathan Isaac, you know, is obviously that um, all-around defensive card that you want, but has an amazing jumper in Jump Shot 70. You mix that now with an 88 shot three with a duo, a better block, a better interior, a better rebounding, and then Mobamba will get a better shot three as well, up to an 86. Better defense as well with a higher steal and block and better rebounding. Um, and it makes both these cards really good. Um, so these three rubies are amazing. Another ruby center that if you don't have Mobamba is going to be great is Wendell Carter Jr., a six foot ten center who has an 85 shot three, great post game, um, has a nice standing dunk and free throw, but terrible driving dunk. Um, can kind of speed boost as well. Defense, especially on the interior and block, is going to be great. Awesome rebounding, good speed, and has great badges, including one Hall of Fame on a ruby in Dream Shake. You'll love to see it. And uh, 37 gold as well all about the defense and finishing on Wendell Carter Jr. with um like a sprinkle of shooting and playmaking in there uh which is really cool and he is another um XP card that you can get right over here in level 13 pretty cool um and again nice and easy most of you guys if you're playing and doing the win the weekend challenges you should be able to get him um right there nice and easy um other guys that I absolutely love at the ruby position we're gonna go to our PGs um, really quick, you guys saw him earlier. Killian Hayes just has a really quick, um, really nice jumper, kind of like base 98. It looks similar, but not exactly the same. Um, and he just can do a little bit of everything, especially on the offensive end. Can play make well, has some good defense, and he's lightning quick as well. But I just love him because of that jumper. Um, it is absolutely money, and it's really fun. Um, we also have Kevin Porter Jr., who is just a Ruby J.R. Smith um, at six foot six with the Curry slide and has clamps. Pick Dodger, Pick Pocket, Posterizer, and Deep Threes as well, which is awesome with a nice little 92 shot three and great dunking. Kevin Porter Jr. is going to be another one of those rubies that you'll see all the time um, that is really fun and really solid to use. Um, more PGs. I love to toss out the PGs because they're always just uh, really fun to use. Um, we have Felipe Lopez, my favorite one to use as well. Also has Jump Shot 49 like Kevin Porter Jr. So if you're using your big Opal right there you don't want to run Thaddeus Young you know maybe you're going with a um, Matt Bournes in there and a Steve Novak you can have Felipe Lopez and Kevin Porter Jr. in there and just have two guys with base 49 in the curry slide which is awesome uh, Felipe Lopez my favorite budget PG six foot five and he can just do everything great dunking awesome three-point shot he can speed boost and he's got some great defense and great speed as well just a, a really fun card uh, another guy that I'm not sure that I have in the ruby but can play the PG very 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 well is fred hoiberg who dropped in the 
um, new idols set right here. Um, Fred Hoiberg has jump shot 38, which is a lightning quick jumper with the curry slide. Is six foot four, so a little actually for a PGA he's not short. Um, an amazing three point shot. He also dunked a little bit. Great playmaking, great defense. But it's about that lightning quick jumper. Um, good defense, good intimidator, and the deep threes that makes uh, Fred Hoiberg just absolutely insane. Um, obviously, if you're a big cheese bowl, you can go into Retro 2K and run yourself a nice little Isaac Bonga in your PG, who is a nice six foot eight PG um, that has the highest total stats out of any uh, ruby in the entire game, which obviously is going to be super fun. Also in Retro set, you have Ruby Kobe Bryant, who is an amazing all-around card to use. Six foot eight, Kobe Bryant base is an amazing, amazing slasher. They can still step it out here, the occasional three, and has some good defense for that as well. Um, so there's a lot of really good options in there for the center position. I really only think Mo Bamba and Rondell Carter Jr. are your best bet, but I think the smartest idea is to get yourself a good Ruby PG that you like. We'll use Felipe Lopez as uh, my example, and then make sure you're running Thaddeus Young in as your lineup, and then, um, yeah, that's really about it. Once you have those guys looking good, you're having a nice little team. So I'll have Steve Novak in there. And this would be my example team maybe that I'm using. You know, Felipe Lopez, Matt Barnes, Thaddeus Young, Steve Novak, David Robinson. Make sure you have a center and you are prepared to guard those David Robinsons that are out there. And then just somebody else in the wing that can lock up, like Matt Barnes, that can lock up, or not lock up, but hope to stop a uh, Luka Doncic or something like that if you go against them. So hopefully you guys can have some fun in Limited and can absolutely grind it out. And uh, have fun getting that glitched market in 2K. Hope you guys all the best in all your grinds. Uh, like the video you guys did enjoy or found it informative at all. If you guys have any other cards that you personally use to get your ring, let me know them down in the comment section below. And subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that road to 10K subscribers. Hope you guys are great today. And I will see you all in the next video.